Vaccines to ward off coronavirus are finally available for use. Soon the jabs will be ready in Australia, but for now the government is keeping a close eye on rollouts in the US, UK and Europe. The results are good and I think that's the important thing. They're early, they don't have all of the data in yet, uh, but the results are good. Australia's vaccine rollout is expected in March next year, but in a meeting with pharmaceutical giant AstraZeneca, the health minister was told importation and domestic production of the Oxford vaccine is ahead of schedule. And I think that's uh, reassuring, reaffirming and uh, an important point of hope. Uh, we are in the fortunate position of uh, having three vaccines at this stage, all of which are on track to being highly effective available and then rolled out safely across the Australian population. First in line for the jab will be health and medical workers, the elderly and vulnerable and hotel quarantine staff whose risk of catching COVID-19 is deemed the greatest. But they won't be watering down that Australian approach. The Chief Medical Officer has advised the Prime Minister 14 days of mandatory hotel isolation for returning overseas travellers is still the best procedure, rather than introducing other schemes like pre-testing passengers before they board flights. The highest standard in the world is the 14-day hotel quarantine and uh, we won't be relinquishing that uh, for anybody else. So that will remain our standard, um, the, uh, the lesser standard of test and uh, uh, travel uh, is not something that we think is sufficiently safe for the Australian context. Roughly 35,000 Australians remain overseas waiting to come home. Emily Evans, Sky News.